On September 7 this year, the Ukrainian people and the President of Ukraine were nominated for the Sakharov Prize. And already on October 19th, the head of the European Parliament, Roberta Metsola, announced that the people of Ukraine, represented by Volodymyr Zelensky, chosen leaders and civil society, and their leaders have become winners and will receive this award. They are standing up for what they believe in, fighting for our values, protecting democracy, freedom and rule of law, risking their lives for us. And today, proud winners of Sakharov Prize, no one is more deserving. Congratulations to the brave people of Ukraine. Roberto Matsolo, President of the European Parliament, on Twitter. The fact that the Ukrainian people have now received it, Europe sends a very important ideological message that the war is not just between two countries for some conditional territory. There is a war between value systems, between two world views, between two globally opposite value orientations, and in this struggle Ukraine defends freedom and human rights, while Russia in this struggle personifies dictatorship. The award ceremony took place almost two months later, on December 14th, during the plenary session of the European Parliament in Strasbourg. The President of the European Parliament stressed that the EU will stand side by side with Ukraine in the fight for freedom. And let it be dedicated to all those brave Ukrainian women and men on the ground, to all those who have welcomed with open hearts into our homes, and to all those who have lost their beloved family and friends. And I know that the brave people of Ukraine will not give up, and let me assure you that neither will we. Slava Ukraini! President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky delivered a video message at the ceremony. He reiterated the importance of creating a special tribunal to punish those involved in the crime of aggression against Ukraine and called for bringing to justice all those who unleashed this war. Tribunal the tribunal must start working. The European Parliament has already supposed this idea. It is necessary to turn it into reality as soon as possible. In particular, through the adoption of a separate resolution of the European Parliament in support of the creation of the tribunal, through your support and the support by your countries of the corresponding resolution of the UN General Assembly. In the Parliament Hall, on behalf of the entire people of Ukraine, the awards were accepted by the head of the Center for Civil Liberties, Oleksandra Matvichuk, the founder of the Volunteer Emergency Medical Corps Angels of Tyra, Yulia Payevska, the mayor of Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov, representatives of the State Emergency Service, Oleksandr Chakrihin and Stanislav Kulikovsky, as well as a representative of the civil resistance movement Yellow Ribbon, Yaroslav Boshko. We need such level of sanctions which can stop the ability of Russian economy to feed this war and finance these atrocities. And we need justice, because all this hell which we now face in Ukraine is a result of total impunity which Russia enjoyed for decades. It's become a part of culture. Russians believe they can do whatever they wanted. We must break the circle of impunity which Russians enjoyed for decades in Chechnya, in Moldova, in Georgia, in Mali, in Syria, in Libya, in other countries of the world. Andrei Sakharov, a Soviet theoretical physicist and then a human rights activist in the Soviet Union, decided to publicly oppose the totalitarian system and showed that even alone it is possible to fight a brutal dictatorship. He constantly advocated that nuclear weapons should not be used in any case. Sakharov, был... Sakharov was an important figure, especially for the international community associated with the struggle for freedom and democracy in the then Soviet Union. Sakharov fought against the suppression of dissent. Sakharov fought for the liberation of dissidents and for the democratization of the Soviet Union. And in this sense he became such a symbolic figure. The Sakharov Prize was founded in 1988. In 2018, the Ukrainian film director Oleg Sentsov became the laureate of this award, and in 2021, the Russian opposition politician Alexei Navalny received the award. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Bil, UATV News.